circus down Cause the world is full of clowns They're all stupid and they're proud Painted smiles on their mouths I don't hang with bozos, homie I can't be around you Anyone who knows me knows my feet all right, welcome back, guys, to the Canadian Circus. In this, I just want to document a, an electronic trail to all the liberal nonsense that goes on in the current political climate. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably going to continue looking into this stuff even when Poliev gets in, because I know he's going to get in, unless they make some shenanigans and create some a way for... <laughs> Justin Trudeau to get back in again. I I hope that doesn't happen, but who knows, man? We never know what's going on in this uh, in this climate. But I mean, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, it's another one for CBC. You know, the trash fire, uh, garbage entity that is known as CBC. Let's get into this. Sources tell our colleagues at Radio Canada tonight that the expansion of medical assistance in dying won't happen before the next federal election. The federal government announced earlier today it was hitting pause on expanding the program to include those suffering from mental illness. That was after a special committee of legislators said Canada's health system just isn't ready for that yet. So they're hitting pause, right? Yeah. They're just not ready for it, right? Yeah. Okay, you know why they're not ready for it? it? They're not ready for it because Canadians aren't buying it. You know, they're looking at it like, look what they're trying to do. They're trying to euthanize people with <clears throat> a mental illness. They're trying to euthanize people who are just primarily sad and just uh, having a hard time co coping with Justin Trudeau's high cost of living. It's, uh, they're just hopeless and that is why they are opting for the uh some of them are opting for the program and plus they just don't have the infrastructure for it like uh i don't know let's just let's listen to this fool get into it what we're saying is that in order for somebody in that intractable situation uh, who is in uh, a mental health nightmare uh, that you know after trying absolutely everything uh, that event that event Try absolutely everything, right? Well, why didn't you try pumping some money into mental health programs, maybe? Uh, you are the Minister of Health. So so maybe you should actually put a focus on giving them the, the mental health and the mental uh, assistance that they need instead of just giving them a medical assistance in dying. And you know what else is uh, also uh, absolutely retarded about the... Uh, the CBC News, they screw everything up. They can't even get the name of the program right. Listen. Eventually they should have that right, but the system needs to be ready and we need to get it right. And it's clear from the conversations we have that the system is at this time not ready and therefore need more time. Hey, Kate McKenna has been tracking this story from our Ottawa Bureau. Good evening to you, Kate. So take us through what else the feds are saying here. Well, they talk about not being ready, and it's not just a matter of not being ready to move forward. They, they outline in a report uh, that was issued today that the provinces aren't ready. They, they're not ready with an accredited training program. They're just flat out uh, not prepared to roll this out by the deadline, which is March 17th. And Travis, as you alluded to, this is not the first time that Ottawa has pushed back this deadline to uh, expand medical aid in dying to include people who have a... Yeah, this thing's bugging me right now. It's not working well. Uh, but there you go. I mean, look, they call it medical aid in dying. It's on the damn screen. You guys had to put it up on the screen. And you still can't get the name right? Are you guys absolutely incompetent? Oh, my God, man. You guys can't get anything right. You get all your facts wrong. You get all your... You spread nothing but lies all the time. And you can't even get the name of the program right. You call it medical aid in dying. It's medical assistance in dying. And you got it up on the screen. You still screw it up. God, these guys are so incompetent. And we pay $1.2 billion a year to these, idi these idiots. Plus the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Plus, Justin Trudeau gives them top-ups of like $500 million. And it's like, because they fail. They're failing. Nobody watches them. Like, I mean, seriously. 
This is pathetic. A sole condition of a med mental disorder. Uh, this is a bill that this was a law that was passed in 2021. Uh, and at that time, there were questions and those questions have continued. And so in response, they created this joint committee that has both MPs uh, and senators on it to take a closer look at this issue. And they're, they're clear in their report. It's not a look at medical aid and dying more generally in Canada, but just specifically how uh, this would roll out. And they say that there are still two many questions to move ahead on. And, and there are also some thorny ethical issues that are raised in uh, this report, uh, Travis, and, and you might be able to think of uh, what some of them might be. Yeah, thorny uh, uh, ethical issues, right? Yeah, you know, like euthanasia, just killing people off because they just can't cope with life anymore. Come on. I mean, I could see if somebody was like dying of cancer and they really didn't want to deal with the like the final stages of uh, of cancer. Uh, I could see then maybe giving them the chance to kind of end their life early or dealing with something like Parkinson's or something where you just like, you know, you're going to waste away. And it's like, I, you know, I just don't want to deal with that or with, uh, say, if I got into a car accident and I was quadriplegic and I had to suck things through a straw shit in a bag for the rest of my life yeah give me medical assistance in dying just pull the plug take me out I don't care I don't want to live anymore I don't want to live being sustained by say my wife kind of um being absolutely burdened with my life at that point but just get rid of me I, I don't want to go on anymore but yeah but people who are just depressed Giving them medical assistance and dying? This is a screwed up world, man. Yeah, there are questions about whether or not uh, physicians are able to uh, determine whether or not someone has a, has a completely incurable mental disorder. Uh, and, you know, questions about whether or not the most uh, vulnerable people might... Uh, end up asking for medical aid and dying when really what they need is treatment. So still lots of questions around that. There certainly are. I, this is such a polarizing issue, such an emotional one. What's the reaction been like so far, Kate? Well, the reaction from the concern. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, a polarizing issue. Yeah, I don't know if it's as polarizing as you say it is. I think it's more, it's just a really bad bad look on the liberal government so they're putting a pause on this because it just makes them look cold cold and unfeeling because they're basically telling you because <clears throat> and basically telling you have no worth you have no no um reason to go on so here let's give you made let's give you medical assistance in dying they're even offering this stuff to military veterans <laughs> who have come home and and all the crap they've seen while they're out there fighting uh, the good fight. And you can agree or disagree with whether it's a good fight or not, but that's beside the point. But yeah, they, they offer them medical assistance in dying because they just can't cope with life anymore. The PTSD is too much for them. And, and look at this. Let's see, two hours ago. Look at how many views these guys have. They only have 5,315 views, and the, they have 3.44 million subscribers. This is a dying breed, a dying brand. CBC is on its way out the door. Poliev will hopefully dismantle these guys because they are useless, pathetic, and they constantly get destroyed all the time. All the time getting destroyed. And with that said, let's look at this. You have 74 likes and 104 comments. Let's see how bad these comments are. How about increasing quality government funding, mental health? Yep, all that stuff. Uh, they they should expand the MAID program to politicians. Yeah. <laughs> Tucker has some real power. Yeah, yeah, because now they're talking about it. They weren't talking about it before Tucker Carlson, were they? Yeah, yeah, It's that, that's funny. I'd never even thought about that, yeah. Agree, made for a plethora of things, but doing it for mental illness 
Yeah, it's a slippery slope. Of course it is. Because then they're going to start, what, they're going to start offering to uh, mental, uh, uh, people with mental deficiencies like uh, Down syndrome, autism, things like that. Yeah, I think that is the way they'd be going. But uh, with that said, that's it for me. I'm out. Peace.